teach you guys three different ways on how to help relieve stress in, in study. Um, I know when I study, especially on midterms or finals, I get stressed out. I get like sad, maybe even depressed a little bit because like I don't understand it at all. And then like I just go on my phone and go get something to eat. And that's not like a good thing to do. And um, when, and recently I read an article in the New York Times, and it was titled it was by Louis Marnell, and it was titled "Record Level of Stress Coming in College Freshman." When I read that, I was happy and sad at the same time. I was happy because I knew that I wasn't the only one feeling this way. There's like other kids, but the, I was sad because there is other kids feeling this way. I don't like the way that feels, and I don't want anyone to feel like that. And um, reason, and everyone has their own techniques. I'm going to teach you three of mine. The first one is called um, is called line walking. And the way you do that, you get a regular piece of paper, a pencil, and you just start drawing, like scribbling, all over the paper and you connect it, and then there's three different ways. You could do curved line, which is this one, or you could do zigzag, which is this, or you could do block. And the thing that all these have in common, that they have done in common, is that they have to overlap each other. Once you do that, you find like an area like this, you shade it in lightly, and you go every other one. They can't connect. They have to be like right here. They can go side to side. And then once you do that, you um, pick a, a shade in it, like you want to do. You could do like lines, like this, circles, make them go big to small. And um, my favorite one is doing circles. And I'll show you some. When you finish, it looks something like this. There's zigzag, there's blocks. Then there's a line. And then the next one I'm going to teach you is the headless snake. It's called the headless snake because it's similar to line walking and a Daniel is like the body of a snake, but but you don't have a head, it's just connected. And the way you start off is the same way as line walking. You walk your line around the paper. And then you get two lines around each line, like that. And then once you get to an intersection right here, every other one you go over, under, over, under. And then eventually you'll connect them. And then once you do that, once you do that, it'll look like this. And you can make it look three-dimensional by like say like you want a light source so so you have like the sun right here and it's shining down so right here it'd be white but under it it'd be shading yeah. so you have the shade a little right here right there and of course you want to erase the line in the middle so you just go around and erase The third and final one I'm going to teach you is called shape clusters. And in that one, you pick like a category you want, like people or animals or plants. And you start off with one in the middle, so I do people. And they have to be silhouettes. So. And then each one you draw has to be, is affected by the one you do first. So say if I want to draw another person, I draw his back, then you know, like that. <coughs> Some shoes, crazy shoes. And the head. Let me go on like that. And then you get your marker and go over it. And then you can fill in the spaces similar to to this one. And you can fill it in with like these kind. This one's my favorite because it's like pretty easy, but it takes a long time. <laughs> and by the end, it'll look like this. It, it takes a while, but in the end, it looks pretty nice. And um, I like this because like it, if you learn something new and it's like creative, and when you're studying, instead of going on your phone or getting something to eat. 
and you don't want to go back to it, you could just start one of these, start it for a little bit, and then like go to a different one. Because you don't want to stay on a particular one because then you'll just like eventually get over it, like study. And then like your mind, well, it will stimulate your mind and you'll feel just better about studying and you'll go back to him for like, you know. And um, let's say like in the it's finals time and you're tired of studying so you go and you start one of these and it can help you a lot. And in this speech I taught you three different ones, shape clusters, line walking, three different lines, curve line, zigzag, and block line. <coughs> I still taught you to end this thing, and that's it.